The S&P 500 is on a warpath. We closed today at all-time highs following the FOMC interest rate decision yesterday. Nearly everything gapped up across the board, and it held its gaps, which is pretty surprising. There are four charts in particular that if you are still on the bear wagon, which I don't understand how you could possibly be, but if you're on the bear wagon, you want these four charts to start breaking down. That's what I want to focus on. For the bull camp, these four charts, Charts in particular are giving you more conviction by the day that your longs are probably going to continue to absolutely kick ass this year, by the way. This is the seventh best start of the S&P 500 in the last 80 years. The seventh best start. Absolutely insane. So if you're on the bear side, I'm going to show you four charts that you want to start going down. First things first, we're going to look at the equal weight S&P 500, S&P 500, excuse me, all-time highs. This is a weekly chart. We're breaking out in all-time highs. I want to go ahead and touch upon the fact that a lot of people were talking about market breadth earlier this year. Market breadth sucked. And yes, to a certain extent, it did. But we're not in that market environment anymore. The equal weighted S&P 500 would not be breaking out into all-time highs if this market was not being propelled by a majority of the S&P 500. It's just simple math. An equal weighted ETF pressing up means majority of the constituents inside of the S&P 500 are pushing up. Maybe the big boys at the top aren't participating as much like they did last year, right? So think of names like Apple and Tesla. They are not participating. Meanwhile, a majority of the names are, and we can see that reflected. This is simple math, guys. S&P 500 equal weighted ETF into all-time highs this week. If you're a bear, you want to see this fall back within the range. You do not want to see this start to break out and run. That is very bad for a bearish thesis, very, very good for a bullish thesis. The second one, which is arguably even funnier than the first one, is the Qs. The NASDAQ equal weighted ETF is breaking out and following through into all-time highs. Once again, the really lazy like explanation of market breadth sucks, there's no way this rally can continue, is just completely out of the window when you see these equal weighted ETFs break out. It means that a majority of the constituents inside are also breaking out and showing bullish uptrends here. It's not just concentrated at the top anymore. That argument is not valid once we start hitting all-time highs. And if you're a fan of technical analysis, which if you're following this channel, you probably are, if these were anything other than ETFs, you'd be buying the breakout. If these were individual stocks, you'd be buying the breakout. Don't trade don't treat indexes any differently, guys. If these are breaking out to all-time highs, you might not be trading the equal-weighted ETFs, but these should absolutely be a part of your analysis. And as of right now, that's two for the bull camp, zero for the bear camp. Once again, bears want to see this start to really break down. They do not want to see this continue to rally. Let's look at mid caps. We know that large caps are working, right? We just saw it, the S&P 500, the Qs, large caps and mega caps are working right now. What about mid caps? Well, sorry, bears, once again, Mid caps closed or are closing right now on weekly all-time highs. This is a weekly chart, all-time highs in the mid cap space. As a matter of fact, TTI has been trading mid caps for the last few weeks, and they have outperformed the large and mega cap trades that we have. Mid caps are going absolutely wild right now. We have so many mid cap trades on the books right now that are up multiple hundreds of percent in contracts and like 20, 30, 40, 50% shares. It's absolutely insane. Think names like Kava, names like Sweet Green. Like these just random recent IPO mid caps that are absolutely catching a bit. And we can see it once again in the ETF analysis portion. Mid caps, all time highs, guys. So we have three charts screaming at us that huge portions of the market are working together. It's not just mega caps anymore like it was last year. It's not just large cap growth like it was last year. We now have large cap value and growth working. We have mega cap value and growth working. We have mid caps working. And let's talk about the last portion, small caps. Yes, small caps are breaking out to two-year highs. Finally, the Russell 2000 is outside of its two-year range. That hellhole underneath $200 feels like it's a completely different lifetime right now. Small caps are starting to catch a bid. They're running hot. A lot of biotech names, a lot of small cap uh, value names, particularly like energy-related plays and industrial-related plays. Both of those industrials are at all-time highs right now. Energy is pressing in towards, I believe, a... Uh, a 10-year high and almost an all-time high. I mean, small caps are catching a bit as well. Everything is literally working right now. And it's just starting. That's what's crazy. These are just brand new breakouts from an equal-weighted standpoint. So it's not like we necessarily have to run for the hills expecting that these trades are crowded and the market's going to pull back and dump on everybody. It's not going to be a straight line up. We still maintain our very bullish thesis through the entire 2024. This is an absolutely insane breakout. We do still expect some sort of pullback, and we do expect people to absolutely run for the hills when it happens. But we have an overall 2024 goal of somewhere north of 530, 540. Our original goal was 550. 
It absolutely feels like it's doable now. We didn't expect to be here this fast. But guys, once again, you have four charts summarizing a large majority of the market telling you that market breadth is just fine and a majority of the stocks in the market are participating in this bullish uptrend. If you don't want to trade it, that's totally fine. Just don't complain when you underperform on the year. My name is Hamilton. I'm here with the Trading Initiative. If you like this type of unbiased content strictly based off of price and technical analysis. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you've done this year. We've done absolutely incredible in TTI. I'm assuming if you've been following our content, you've probably done pretty well for yourself as well. I'd love to hear about it. I'll catch you in the next video.